Okay, section 1.5, units. Questions, what are the four fundamental dimensions used in mechanics? What are the two systems describing these quantities? Okay, four fundamental dimensions. Quantities, what are the two systems that we use to describe these fundamental dimensions? Describe the quantities in each system. Units, symbols, describe them. And then what are the derived dimensions? Derived dimensions in each system. Okay? So in mechanics, there are four, we use four fundamental quantities called dimensions. Okay, these are, are length, mass, force, and time. Okay, so where does this come from? Well, a way to help us is to just consider Newton's second law, F equals MA. So we have force in there, right? We've got mass there, and we've got length and time in, the, in acceleration. Okay? So we'll see that um, in terms of these quantities, or units used to measure these quantities, um, a few of them, one of them is derived from the other base units, okay? We'll see this, okay? But anyway, this, this governs us. This helps us know, um, in in, when we're talking about mechanics, what are these quantities or these dimensions that we are using, okay? Now, these dimensions, these quantities need units, units, to describe them or to measure them, okay? And um, these units are, are described in two systems, two systems. The one system is the SI units, uh, International System of Units, and the other is U.S. Customary Units. Okay, so let's recap. We've got these four dimensions that describe, that we use in mechanics. Math, length, <laughs> math, mass, length, time, force. And we have two systems that, uh, of units that, dis that basically measure these, um, these quantities. Now let's focus on the SI units. The base units, as I mentioned earlier, a kilogram, meter second, and here are the symbols. And Newton is a derived unit. Okay? So the Newton is derived from the preceding three. Okay, how is Newton derived? Well, again, F equals MA. And so this is kilogram, and this is meter per second squared. So a Newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. That's what a Newton is. And it's derived from these base units, kilogram, meter, and second. Okay, so a Newton, what is one Newton? What is one Newton? It's the force required, it's the force that you need to accelerate a mass of one kilogram to accelerate this mass of, that is one kilogram, to accelerate it with a, an acceleration of one meter per second squared. That's what, that's what is one Newton. That's what one Newton is. Okay? And similarly, uh, if we consider uh, a mass falling, then if we, again, if we consider F equals MA, then we have the weight of the object, is mass times gravity. All right. Okay, so we looked now at the SI units, looked at the base units and the derived units. Now let's look at US customer units. Here it's slightly different. The base units uh, are not necessarily the same uh, as for the SI units. The base units are based on length, time, and force. Whereas the base units for SI, un for SI units 
was mass, length, and time. And then force was derived. But here, um, length, time, and force are base, and then the mass unit is derived. Okay, so take note here. What is the unit for length? It's the foot, and that's the symbol. What's the unit for time? It's the second. And the symbol is SEC, SEC. So that's the symbol in this in US customary units. Now, this is important, guys, because maybe you've worked with pound uh, in terms of uh, like a weight or a mass. But pound in US customary units refers to the force. Okay, do you see this force? So the pound here is the unit for force. It, and that's the symbol. Uh, that's the symbol for pound. Now, what is a slug? Interesting term. So the, the slug is the unit for mass in the US customer unit. Okay, so let's look at a slug. So again, we've got, um, if we consider this, force is mass times acceleration. Okay. And here, pound for force is a base unit. Foot or feet and second are base units. So in this case, the slug is, a, is the derived unit. And... If we rearrange this, we're going to get pound divided by foot second squared, which then is just simply, if you rearrange this, this, the second squared goes to the top. And so a slug, which is the unit for mass, is pound second squared divided by feet. Therefore, one slug is the mass which is given an acceleration of one foot per second when acted on by a force of one pound. It is a mass given an acceleration of one foot per second when acted on by a force of one pound. Okay. So I just want to um, remind you again that don't get when we're talking about pound in um, this these units FPS. What's FPS? FPS is foot pound second system. This is the U.S. customary uh, system of units called the foot pound system units. Remember that pound refers to force. Okay, and they sometimes distinguish between these two by saying, okay, well, if I write p LBF, that refers to a pound uh, in terms of force. And if I write LBM, then that refers to mass. Okay. But in this book, they use LB to refer to force. Okay, so please make sure that you you get all that. Okay, I think that's fine.